Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about thrombocytosis. The normal range for platelet count in healthy individuals typically falls between 150 to 450,000 platelets per microliter of blood. Values outside this range may indicate medical conditions such as thrombocytopenia when it's low, thrombocytosis when it's high. Today, we will talk about the causes of thrombocytosis, high platelets. High platelets uh, or thrombocytosis can be caused by several conditions. It's generally classified into two types, primary or essential or secondary. Primary thrombocytosis occurs due to abnormality in the bone marrow cells that produce platelets, less common and is often associated with myeloproliferative disorders such as essential thrombocytopenia, which is a chronic blood disorder where the bone marrow produces too many platelets, polycythemia vera, which is a condition where the body produces too many red blood cells, sometimes causing an increase in platelets as well, myelofibrosis, which is a type of bone marrow cancer that affects the production of blood cells. And the secondary type, which is the reactive one, more common and occurs as a reaction to other condition or factors like infection, it could be bacterial, viral, or other infections can lead to high platelets, thrombocytosis, inflammation, chronic inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, or lupus can cause elevated platelets. Iron deficiency anemia, the body can produce more platelets in response to low iron levels. Post-surgery or trauma, the body may increase platelet production after surgery injury or other trauma cancers certain cancers like lung gastrointestinal or ovarian cancer can cause thrombocytosis lastly we have splenectomy removal of the spleen can result in an elevated platelet count as the spleen normally helps regulate the platelet levels hemolysis conditions that cause destruction of the red blood cells can trigger rise in platelet counts and certain drugs like corticosteroid may lead to high platelet counts recovery from blood loss after significant blood loss the body may temporarily produce more platelets during recovery thank you so much for watching don't forget to join our channel membership i do have another video on platelet levels you can reach that from the top right corner and the screen and i'll see you on the next one